Hello everybody, we are back again. Yay! Yeah, alright. And uh, today... You convinced me to do it a second time. Oh. <laughs> well, no, that, that sounds a little naughty. <laughs> That's what she said. Anyway, but anyways... I'll let you show. What movie, what movie were, are we reviewing? Whoa! Yay, alright. Class of Newcomb High. Yeah. Um, the unrated director's cut. I actually... No, wait. Oh. Before you get to what you think about it. No. We gotta tell them what it's about. Well, I was gonna say that I think I actually saw it many years ago. Mm. You um, probably made me watch it, but I didn't really remember it. Yeah. So, I just look at it as this was my first time because I didn't remember anything from it, so... And I don't really remember watching this with you, so... I've heard of it, and you told me about it, yeah. so maybe... I don't know. Well, did you know that this is one of my all-time favorite trauma movies? Really? One of them, yes. And uh, it came out in 1986. And uh, but this version here uh, it came out in 1998. Now I remember going on the trauma website when I first discovered it, and uh, there was movies on here like that were they were dirt cheap at the time. And like, I don't know if it was a sale or it was just that's how it was. But I remember, I like, I bought a bunch of them. Some of them I have, and I honestly have never even watched yet. And that, and that's for like 17 years, or like 1998. Well, I never that heard long of. Ago. I never heard of Troma until we first started going out, and that was You're like welcome. 13 years ago. And he's like, "Did you ever see this movie?" I'm like, "No." He's like, "Troma." I'm like, "What the hell is that?" So. Well. Now I feel cool because I know. Here she's cool now. She's in the cool club. <laughs> yeah. But uh, this movie is about a power plant that has a leak, and the school live is like a quarter of a mile away from the plant, so like it's starting to leak close to the school, and uh, it's starting to like mutate people. Like it's going into their water system, and things happen, and uh, the honor society turns into like a motorcycle drug dealing gang called the Cretans. Their faces and, are all painted. Yeah, their faces are like painted. They're, yeah, they're they're crazy. Mm -hmm. And uh it's basically a um a guy named Warren and a, his girlfriend Chrissy and people are like, oh want them to have sex for some reason because they have to be in their I don't know why. It's like the typical high school thing to Yeah. You know. So they get some of this atomic they call it, they're calling it an atomic high because it's weed from outside of a fence by the power plant that it's getting leaked on. So the weed, like the joints are all like... They're yellow. Yellow. Mm -hmm. And they smoke it and then they end up having sex and then all this strange stuff starts happening to them. And it's pretty crazy. I mean, 1986, I, I, I even think that the... The prosthetics and the and everything that is really cool for back then. Cause like, I don't know how to do any of that stuff. And just seeing it even for back then, I nowadays I'm like, how do they do that? I can't figure it out. Except for maybe one thing where they have the stuff leaking out of their mouth. I think that's probably Alka Seltzer with like food coloring or something. Well, back then they didn't have all the like digital stuff either. Yeah. So if there's any kind of weird effects or like anything on someone's face. You know it was makeup or something like that, which makes right. it even better because you had to like be creative and like really know what you're doing. Right. You couldn't just be like, oh, we'll we'll uh, you know put something in and we'll make your face look different. Not that there's anything wrong. With no, that. no, but it's just. But. Back in '86, you know that that's how you had to do it. Right. So. I was only two. You were two years. I was six that. years old in 1986. <laughs> Um, but what did you think about this movie? I liked it. I really did. Um, would I say it's like the greatest thing I ever saw? No. Mm. But would I say it was horrible? No. It's like one of those like kind of silly, ridiculous movies that like if you don't really know what to watch one day, just like put it in and you'll enjoy it. Yeah. Um, cause it's, it's funny and it's sometimes you're just like really and it's gross in some parts so it's a little bit of everything <laughs> it's so, ridiculous yeah it's kind of uh i think it would appeal to 
a lot of people, but then again, I think a lot of people would just be like, "Yeah, what is this, you know? Right. But I liked it. Yeah. I mean, even the Cretans, the name Cretans, they're like my favorite thing in the movie. Mm -hmm. Like, they're just ridiculous. But they're, they're just a bunch of assholes. They're like the punks, but just taken to the extreme. Yeah. Yeah. I don't ever, I never understood that with a gang, though. Like, I understand maybe that's where they, you know, if they're drug dealers, that's where their traffic is. But, like, why would they actually go to school? I never understood that. I don't know. You know? Yeah. I, I never understood, like, any movie. Like, why do, if, like, why do gang members ha go to school? What's the point? <laughs> You're that bad of an ass. Is that, the, is that how you say it? I guess, yeah. <laughs> but that you... That you obviously were in that group in high school. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I went to... I actually didn't mind going to school. I, I would hate it now, probably. Oh, I would never want to go back. But, uh, yeah, it, there's like a ton of features on here. I haven't shown her yet, but there's a lot of stuff like... I mean, back then, like, first ever interactive tour, Troma Studios... And now you can just go and, like, get to... You can go through it yourself now. From, that's what I heard. I never was there. But, uh... Just, like, a lot of stuff on here. There's always trailers, and then there's interactive stuff, and there's, like, a uh, like a yearbook-looking kind of thing on here. I'll show you. Uh, there's the disc. And, uh... You know, of course, all, all the trauma... All trauma movies on here. But, uh... I never saw the regular version of this. this. is the unrated director's cut, and you could tell on here it actually says the huge hit spawning two sequels. So when this came out, there was already the other two, and there is they. It's made. I guess it's made, or they're finishing up. Return to Class of Newcomb High Volume One, which is supposed to be, I guess, a little bit sort of like this. Because there's the Cretans in it again. But is it a remake? Or I don't is it know like, if it's a remake. Like years later? It, it, it's or? supposed to be present. Present day. Oh. So I don't know if you're supposed to like ignore the second and third one and this is like the next one. Or, or if this is after all that crap. I mean, you can't just forget about Brick Bronski. Which one was he? He was he wasn't in this. Oh, <laughs> he was in the second and third one. But like, I know the I name. I don't want to forget but... Brick Bronski. That's just a great name. It is. Starring Brick Bronski, with Brick Bronski <laughs> as Brick Bronski. In Brick Bronski. In Brick Bronski. <laughs> it's like the greatest name ever. I know, right? It's so good. But uh, yeah, but he's not in this. So he was <laughs> like, which one was he? That's irrelevant. <laughs> irrelevant. But uh, apparently the guy who played Spike in this has a part. In Return of the Nuke, Return of Nukem High Volume One, and it's Volume One. There's gonna be a Volume Two. I have no idea what what that means. There's trailers out for it now, and it looks pretty cool. Can and, we just uh, talk about his hair for a minute? Who? Spike. Yeah. The Wait, skunk. Yeah, almost. he has this like the long reversal skunk hair. It's like bleached. The top is just like real short, like this high. Worst haircut ever. I don't know. I just have to mention. Or it. is it supposed to be a wig? I think that was is real. Is he wearing a wig, or is it supposed to be his real hair in a movie, and that's what he did? I mean, I get it's the 80s, but what? I don't know. <laughs> it was horrible. My favorite was uh, this guy with the bone. I can't think of his name. I think it's Gonzo or... Something like that. He something had a huge, like, like, nose ring, like, piercing, like a... Like a big bull. Yeah, like a big circle, and then it was like, like another down here, one. Yeah. And he had mouth guard in. And his face is all painted up. He looked like something from like a tribe. Or yeah. Whatever. He was. I don't know. He was my favorite one of the Cretans. Um, it. But this is a a wacky movie, and it is like you can't go into it and take it serious. No. But it, it, you it, just it, have to it, appreciate you can't take it any of them for serious. its like weirdness. Like it's different. Like it's not like movies you usually see. Yeah. You know? Now, I honestly thought at the end of was at the end of every movie we watch, I always ask her, what did you think? And I was actually surprised to hear that you really liked this. Out of a 10, 10 being, like, the best, one being the worst, I'd probably give it, like, a, maybe, like, a 7. 7? Because, like, like I said, it wasn't horrible, but I wouldn't be like, oh, my God, you have to watch it. 
I'd, I'd probably say it's I'd say give it a watch, but don't... I'd say 7.5, maybe an 8 yeah. in my category. But 7? Wow. Yeah. Wow. For her, wow. Yeah, like I said in the other video, if you didn't see it, like, I'm very critical or whatever. Yeah. Like, I either like it or I don't, and... She's dead honest. Most like, of the time, I don't like something more than I do. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess for me to actually like this, it's a shock. Yeah, um... But maybe it's because I'm around him so much. <laughs> Watching all these like weird, wacky movies, like B movies and stuff I never heard of, and stuff I've never strange heard of. things that maybe I'm just getting used to it and appreciating it more. So, <laughs> are you becoming a horror fan? Yeah, I was. I would never. I would, wouldn't say that I wasn't one. I just wasn't like an expert on like you. No, know not an expert. But you like know everything. You saw this one. You can quote this and that. I I saw movies, horror movies, and I liked them. But I was never like into them. You, you know. You never classified yourself as a horror. Fan. Yeah. And you just recently went to your first horror convention. Yeah. And you really loved it. And look at the shirt I'm wearing. That was my shirt. I can't. It's fit mine into now. It. I don't know if you can. She claimed. Tell, it. but. <laughs> and you have seen that movie too. Oh yeah, I so saw. I like this one too. Okay, that's another. One. Yeah, anyways. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I think maybe I'm just becoming immune to these types of movies. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not trying to make it sound like it's a bad immune thing. Immune yeah. to the disease but like of usually, horror movies. Like before, he put these up movies on and I'm like, really? Are you serious? And I wouldn't watch them. Now it's like, what are we watching tonight? <laughs> if you didn't like it, then you shouldn't have put a ring on it. Oops. Oh. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, anyway... So, We're getting off the subject yes. of talking about this movie. So that's, uh, I guess that'll be our review of this. And uh, like I said, it's one of my favorites, uh, classic troll movies. Now you really like it. Yeah. And you would watch this again in the future? I would. I'd say I'd, I probably would appreciate it more. If A second I were, time? I would say if I were like drunk or something. <laughs> it's a good movie to watch. Like Just like again, like a silly kind of... Don't take it serious, but a good watch movie. Good. Yeah, I was watching him. Um, well, all right then. Um, we we are going to be reviewing more movies, um, but we want to know. <coughs> sorry, we want to know what you would like us to review. Um, preferably something not neither one of us have seen before. Chances are, I probably didn't see it. So yeah. it's really did he see it? But <laughs> nothing. Nothing, I don't know. I was going to say nothing too gory, but I like gore. I'm, I, I should say nothing that I can't watch while I'm eating. Yeah, that kind of stuff doesn't <laughs> bother me, but I don't like to watch it when I'm eating or if I'm full. Just because know. it gets me more. But I guess because I'm older, I can't handle it. I don't know. Could just be me. And I don't have a specific sort of type of movie I really like, I guess. Yeah. So I don't watch anything, so. <laughs> so yeah, if you have any suggestions, suggestions... Tell us what you want us to see, and we will watch it, and she and I will give our honest of, uh, opinions on it. And, uh... Yeah, so if I don't like it, I'll say I won't like it. Don't be... Don't be mad. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if you made the movie. And I won't be like too it. harsh, but I, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> um... But yeah, please give us a thumbs up if you are starting to really, or if you really love the Tony and Shana show. That's what we're calling it. Um, we're so clever. We're so clever. We actually used to do this a while ago, but it wasn't about movies. It was about other stuff. And then we stopped. We only did a few of them. But it was too random. It was the to it's we're the Tony and Shane show. Whenever you see this video, that title, obviously you'll always see us too. So please let us know what you think about this idea of, of the team up <laughs> and uh, again spread the word of, of Tony and Shana show and Tony of the Dead and all that and uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, I guess we'll talk to everybody later yeah